Good morning, everyone. I hope everybody's enjoying their Saturday morning so far. Uh, this is just a quick tutorial through Silhouette Studio Business Edition of um, changing the uh, image inside an SVG, changing the color inside an SVG. Okay. Um, today we'll be doing a messy bun, sunglasses, bows, uh, uh, changing the hair color. Pretty much whatever you need. Okay, uh, we're gonna start with a bow. Uh, we'll bring our bow, merge it, you know, merge, merge whatever you need um, onto the design space. Okay, I worked down a couple as you can see here, just practicing. Um, there are a few ways you can do this. One being the really lengthy way. And the way I'm about to show you, which takes a few seconds uh, for you newbies, take a couple minutes, but hey, we were all new once. Okay, so we're going to get our bow. And what I like to do, I like to delete any, delete any background, any foreign parts that are there, invisible parts that we may not be able to see. Okay, so we want to trace it as like that as is and we we don't want to fill everything in we just want the lines to appear yellow and I'm going to trace and detach again that's to illuminate any background anything that may be there that we can't see so we highlighted everything here was in the image and we don't want that okay so we're going to go back up and I'm going to trace again Okay, and leave it the same as it is. And we're going to trace. Use the top one. Bring this down. Okay. And we'll leave this over here because when we release our path, this is going to get in the way. So we're going to right click on this and release compound path. Okay. That's going to release everything in there. All right. So you can move stuff around like this, but we don't want to do that. We want to take the outer line, move this out. Okay, you can color this, color this whatever color you want. Um, you can make it an M. You can import an image into it. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to make this. Uh, uh, let me do a little bit of. Uh, do a little bit of a, a red color okay make everything red okay now we're going to bring this down here we're going to import an image Hey, okay, I'll get a Chicago background okay now we're going to decide whether we want the entire I'm going to bring this take the send this to the back so I can see I want the city of Chicago in the bow so we're going to flip this around to get most of the city in the bow get the shadow in there too the reflection of the water okay so I'm going to highlight all this the object modify and crop okay so there's city of Chicago in the bow you want to group this together and if you want red I don't really like the red color let's go with um, uh, sort of pink see what pink does see how pink looks All right, let's go with uh, let's just go with black. Okay. All right. And then when we line that up, we're gonna highlight it, and we're gonna go up here to our um, I call it our line, our our centering, our lineup icon. Okay. I'm gonna hit the center, so it lines it perfectly up. 
with the with the saw with the front of it with a sunset and we're going to group this together okay now that's out of our way okay and move on to sunglasses Put our sunglasses in here same thing I want to trace and that's perfectly highlighted all right so we're going to trace outer edge bring it down highlight anything that we don't need that's hiding in there okay again trace okay and do the top trace okay get this out of the way let's bring another image in all right and we'll do the same with the sunglasses do the Chicago here all right highlight all this modify and crop okay so there is our sunglasses and our bow okay now if you want to create an offset on this you can just get a go down here to the star and do an offset And we'll go down to 70 or 75. We don't need to do an offset. I just think it'll look pretty cool matching the, the bow here. Okay. And we'll turn to black. And that black. See? I'm going to group this together. All right. Now, I'll bring our woman over here. Okay. You can change her hair any color you want. Again, just go through these steps, trace. Whenever you want to change anything on an SVG, you always have to trace it first. Okay, so her hair is perfectly lined up, perfectly traced, all yellow. Trace and detach. And it's amazing how much stuff is behind there you don't know about. Okay, so... I'll just leave it at black. Well, let me show you how to change the hair color. I'll show you how to do that. Trace again. It's the same thing pretty much as, as that. As doing the bow on the sunglasses. Okay. Trace. Okay, there you go. That's that. Now, you can change it this way. Um, let's make her... Let's make her, I guess, a redhead. That's really redhead. Okay. And it's, and that's just a redhead. If you want to make it solid red, you can do it that way. Release compound path. Or you can go back and leave it right there. Okay. So what I did. Okay, again. Trace it. Okay. Makes it yellow and trace. Now, if you want to make um, these lines a different color, the white, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, release compound path. Okay, and this takes out everything. That takes out the the outline of the hair of the hair. Okay, so you can make this one color. If you want to give her highlights. So let's go with yellow and you want to make this black okay I forgot a little bit there here black black okay and group this together all right now she's got black highlights or if you want to do the opposite, you want to do black with blonde highlights, you can do that. Okay. Just take this out. Highlight it. Black. Black. Okay, you're going to have to release com... Actually, you don't have to release it. Sorry. And there's your black with blonde highlights. Okay, I'll um, no, we go 
go back here, sorry. Alright, and that's perfect the way that is. Okay, group that together. And now we have a matching messy bun SVG. Bring this to the front, right click, bring it to the front, and there we go. Alright, so I hope this helped. If you have any questions, comments, um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get it built up so I can uh, make more videos for you guys. If you have, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. Take care, guys. Have a good day.